Hello, everybody. It's the 11th of January. It's a Thursday, so we're on day 11 of my video journal. So first of all, I just wanted to say, the all, as far as I know for a fact, the only person that maybe even looks at these aside from me is maybe my mom. I don't think my wife or my family or anyone else is A, interested on anything I do on YouTube or any of this crazy video and all, all the other things that I do. I don't think they could really care less, which is fine. That's all right. And, but there are people looking at the videos, so I don't know how it's showing up or where it's showing up. I know on one of the videos that had that really bad banding in the background, some, a couple of people did comment on that. So if you are watching and if this does pop up randomly in your feed and you actually watch it for more than, you know, what a minute, I just want to say that's really cool and say hello in the comments and just say, hey, man, I saw your video and, you know, that's it. Just say hello, really. It's it's interesting that it's even showing up on anybody's feed at all. So that's cool. And it's part of the reason why I wanted to do this because, and I said this in one of the earlier ones, <clears throat> excuse me, but there's no point in me trying to get better at my video editing skills and to try and do this stuff and to make the lighting work and to make my studio look good if I just keep recording these things and don't ever share them with anybody. I sort of need the pressure of knowing that I have to put this on out into the public and that some random person might see it. And for me, that actually adds a little bit of pressure for me to try to make it as nice and as good as I can. I think it probably looks better than I talk. I know there's loads of things that I still need to get better at. I want to take, I say sort of all the time as a, as a crutch. I say so a lot as a crutch. I say um a lot as a crutch. And those are the things that I'm really trying to work on and to be more confident or, or more assertive in the things that I say and know what I want to say before I say them and maybe think about that a little bit more so that I don't end up using those crutches while I pause and try and think about the next thing that I want to talk about. So <laughs> that, um, that just sort of leads me on to, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say that I think it's good. It's good for me to know that people are out there seeing it. And it's hopefully, you know, if nothing else, you can just log into these things every once in a while and point and laugh. And you can just look and say, oh, look, that guy's still talking to the camera and to, to no one into the ether, which is OK, too, because I don't mind. I've had over the past couple of days ups and downs. I had if anybody's ever worked in sales, you know that. When you're looking for things, you have to have, you know, 10 or 100 opportunities if you want to close, you know, four or five or, or 40 or 50 deals. It's just a numbers game. You have to have enough opportunities open so that you can have some of those opportunities come through because not every opportunity does. And I'd kind of been doing that with my business and my consulting. I'd been doing some consulting with uh, public sector, Oxfordshire County Council. So I'd been helping them do some work last year. That contract ended in November, but then a role came up and I thought it might be nice to work with the team in a more formal way. So I applied for that. So I was, I really hoped that I would be able to get through that process and that I could work with the team. And so I was holding off on a bunch of other stuff, but still filling the pipeline at the same time so that if it didn't come through, that I would still have other opportunities on which I was working. And that's exactly what's happened. So as it turned out, there were tons of applicants for the job and I didn't even make the short list, which is okay because I'm still going to be working on some of the projects that I got funding for last year. And that'll be okay. It's just not the the full, maybe the kind of full-time role that I I'd had originally hoped that I might get. So I was a little bit bummed about that the other day, but I've moved on. I've got other things in the pipeline. And actually what started to happen is I'm getting a lot more traction actually on the media side, doing the the podcasting work and then some other stuff that's coming in the pipeline. So I have two big opportunities that I can't really talk about yet for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have any contracts. There's nothing written down. There's nothing on paper. So you never never talk about that stuff until you know one way or the other. And 
the other one is is some of the projects I think we just we're not even talking about to anyone other than the teams that are working on them to to try and prep them and scale them. But one one would be totally different and something I've never done. So that'll be quite interesting to see where we go with that. And that will that will build on my podcasting work and the things that I've been doing in that area. So much more around it would be more around helping people with their podcasts, doing a little bit of production, those sorts of things, maybe helping them with some marketing and stuff like that. So that's one thing. That's about all I can say about that one. The other one would be working in a much larger on a much larger project with very professional people who've been doing this for a very long time. And I have I have some expertise that fits well into the team. And so I'm getting an opportunity to see some stuff for behind the scenes that I've never seen before. And that'll be super exciting if we can pull it off. So So, yeah, we'll talk about that later if that starts to come through. But that could be a hugely exciting project. It's in the planning stages now. Nothing's going to happen in the next probably three months, so at least until the end of Q1 before we would even know if we were really going to have a go, no go on the project. And then if if the project goes off on time and according to the plan, we wouldn't see any results on it until probably July or maybe even August. But it's a big project, and it potentially has a lot of impact down the line. So I'll be really excited to talk to you about it once that comes around. But suffice to say that it seems to be going well. We've had our first couple of meetings. We've written some vision documents, and that seems to be going really well so far. So fingers crossed on that one. And that's really it, I think, for today. So having had the sort of down, now I've had a little bit of up. I'm, I'm back to feeling good about this year and feeling buoyant and energetic and looking for things to do and ready to get stuck in and just see what happens this year. So that's it for tonight. Uh, oh, podcast comes out tomorrow. Um, two things with that. So the guy's name is Gav that I spoke to, and it's all about DJing and music and, and how that's changed. And I think I mentioned that um, before. But the other thing is, is that this is the first podcast episode that I've edited entirely myself. And that's pretty cool. It's a step forward for me. I think it sounds okay. The challenge that we had with this particular recording, though, is that it wasn't just like, okay, I'm just going to ease myself into the process of doing the editing and everything myself with all the tools that I know and I know how they work and I'm comfortable with. Because I use Riverside and I, I understand my whole Riverside workflow. I know how the files work. I know all of that. But the person I spoke to, Gav, we couldn't get Riverside to work on his computer for whatever reason. So we ended up having to use Zoom. And the Zoom files and the sound is very different than the sound I'm used to coming from Riverside and and what I get normally from from the people that I talk to. So that was a whole different experience as well. So not only was I doing it by myself for the first time, but I was also working with unfamiliar files that sounded different and were quite challenging to work with for a couple of different reasons. So that all being said, I still think it sounds good. I don't think that a lot of people will even notice if they listen to it. I'm not sure they'll even notice the difference. Hopefully not. And if you listen to it and you do notice the difference, feel free to comment on here and give me feedback on it. But I think I think it sounds basically like all the other ones. So I felt good about that as well. So anyway, that's it. I think for tonight, I got to go downstairs. I'm going to process these and I'm also going to double check the podcast files to make sure that they go through and that everything's done and I don't have any errors. And then I'm going to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. See you later. Bye bye.